Okay, you know what I had in mind on my schedule? The Kubernetes resources and how to integrate your cluster with Azure AD to get just-in-time secure clusters. I would love to welcome to the studios Michael Winthrow, who is a program leader on the Azure Kubernetes service that you know as, as AKS. Michael, welcome to Build. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank you very much. Excited to be here. Okay, so for those who do not know you and everything that you do, can you please tell us a little bit about your team, your work, et cetera, et cetera? Sure, so I'm a senior program manager on the Azure Community Service, uh, which is a heavily used service uh, within the Azure community. And so my role uh, within there is to uh, cover all the security features uh, to make sure that AKS is enterprise grade capable. Okay, so what I love about your team's work is that it is productivity beyond belief. You're saying, how can we very securely set you up these environments that you can use to solve your problem, and then you don't, don't have to worry about garbage collection, cleanup, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And here at Build, you're introducing some cool new concepts for cluster security. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Sure. So as it exists uh, natively, you know, from a management perspective, so I'm an administrator and I'm trying to uh, give everybody access to my cluster. So I've got to go through to find access uh, and they're going to be li long lived from a capabilities point of view. And so now I got to define a process to make sure that I've got my role based access in place. I've mount monitor my administrators and all those kind of things like that. So with just in time access, the idea there is that now I'm giving administrators access for resources that they need at just the time that they need it. Okay, what I really like about okay, this really like is that you don't need to give your admin access forever, right? You're not like, oh, I might need you to have access in three months or in the middle of the night, so I need to constantly keep this open access. You just do it which is why it's called Just In Time, that makes sense. Good naming, good naming. Um, this is such an interesting game changer because you don't have to be like overly predicty, right? You can kind of just do your work, be productive without having to like future proof and like predict the future and all of that. I think that one is really, really cool. I know this is something your customers have been asking for forever. So I love that your team is co-creating with customers on this, super cool. Yep. Um, tell Absolutely. us about the other thing, the AKS run command. Tell us about that. Yeah, so kind of switching gears a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, on the other side, when we look in the security stack, uh, we have a private cluster capability uh, that a lot of customers leverage as well. And so um, there can be some challenges with how you get into that cluster for administration uh, from, from a capabilities point of view. And so what we've been looking at is trying to simplify the access mechanisms that you can get into uh, your private clusters, but also keep it secure. And so that's where AKS run command comes in for, uh, for everybody to use. Okay, this sounds really interesting. Do you want to show us a demo so we can kind of see what you're talking about? Absolutely. Okay, awesome. Here we go. All right. Oh, All this right, is the so just starting out. Yeah. Uh, oh, thank you. Sorry yeah. about that. So, so looking at just-in-time access mm -hmm. from a precursor perspective. What you want to understand is that this is all predicated on from a tenant perspective that you have implemented your basically P2 SKU, which lights you up for the just-in-time access capability. Once you've done that, as this demo kind of walks through, now you can start to basically enable your groups for just-in-time access. So what you're seeing here in the demo perspective is that I've that is AAD enabled, then I've added that just-in-time access enabled group to that AKS cluster. So now I'm an administrator, not necessarily a permanent administrator, but I need to do something on the cluster. So I run some commands and I realize I don't have access. So now I'm going to request access through just-in-time. Now an administrator will go through and now is provisioning that user to now have access to that particular cluster. So you can see it's going to define the time frame, uh, what that user can do, and now uh, essentially you're going through from a command line perspective. You'll see the time frame there through that assignment. Everything's configured, and then once that command that administrator has been approved, now that administrator can actually execute commands against that cluster in that time frame. Okay, this is just incredibly cool, Michael, and I'm sure you've been getting some pretty pretty cool feedback on this from your customers. This is just absolutely phenomenal. So do you have anything else you'd like to show us or share with us? 
Um, not on that one. I think now it's a good time to probably go over to the run command. Let's see it. All right. So looking at the run command, um, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, the idea there is that instead of having to go through traditionally when someone deploys a private cluster, they have to do uh, advanced configurations by adding in private endpoints, uh, UDRs, uh, stacking in maybe a jump host or a bastion host in order to get into the private cluster environment. Uh, really what I'm talking about here is they have to be on the network somehow or get access into the network somehow. Uh, a lot of those are complex to set up. There is cost associated with that. So what we've created is the run command, which is just run directly through kubectl. And so now through there, uh, with that command, you can shell in to the environment. Now, obviously, from a security perspective, you're going to be worried about that security. So we have created a specialized role just for this run command here, which you're seeing here in this demo environment. And so once you've relegated that role to that user, think of it like a custom role as an example. Now they can go through just with that specialized access and remote into the private cluster from a simplified configuration. This is so cool, Michael. I love this. I love that you are so making things so much easier for people. You're boosting their productivity and you're keeping them safe at the same time. This is not a case of like security is like annoying, right? This security actually makes your job way the heck easier. This is fantastic. Yep. I absolutely love it. Um, our manager, actually, Patrick, he's a huge fan of Kubernetes, and he will probably be freaking out about this because these are some big changes, and I know these are asks that you've been getting from your community forever. So thank you so much. Right. Where can people absolutely. go to learn more? Where should people go? Absolutely. So uh, just remember about our, our AKS documentation. Yep. So we have a lot of documentation out there. Um, and the run command and just-in-time access are documented. Um, I also have some blog posts out there that customer can reference. Perfect. So look that up, AKS, AKS runtime and just-in-time access. Everyone go check it yep. out. And Michael, thank you so much for joining us here at Build. It has been such a joy to get this information from you. Thank you very much. Be safe. Bye.